today we are going to continue into a new chapter which is chapter 6 linear equations and this is actually the continuation from chapter 5 so in this video i'm going to cover two learning standards first learning standard is identify linear equations in one variable and describe the characteristics of the equations so basically in this for this learning standard you are supposed to be able to know why does a certain equation is uh, actually a linear equation in one variable so for you to be able to look at it you have to know what does it mean by equation what does it mean by linear and what does it mean by one variable so look at it one by one first equation look at this diagram you have diagram a and diagram b what can you see from these two diagrams and how does the two diagrams relate okay so you can see that in diagram A, you have one 100 ringgit node and in diagram B, you have two 50 ringgit node. So the relationship, of course, you all know that 100 ringgit ratio is equal to 50 ringgit plus 50 ringgit. So you have 100 ringgit equals to 50 plus 50. You have an equal sign over here. So this symbol is what we call as equal to symbol. The symbol equal to is used to show the relationship between two quantities that have the same value. That have the same value means this equation, the left hand side over here is 100 ringgit Malaysia and the right hand side over here is 50 plus 50 and it will be equal to 100. So this shows that 100 ringgit Malaysia is actually equal to 50 plus 50. So the mathematical sentence that involves equality is known as equation. Simply said, whenever you have sentence with equal to symbol, with equal to signs, that is actually an equation. So I hope you are clear with the meaning of equation. Uh, the difference between what you have learned before this in chapter 5 is that what you have learned in chapter 5 is only the expression. So from this following example over here, only three of them is actually the expressions, which is 7h plus 2, 5a cubed minus 4, and x plus 2x. And the rest of them is the equation. Why, why are they the equation? It is because they have the equal to sign. They have the equal to symbol. They have left hand side and right hand side so based on all these equations only a few of them is what we call as linear equation so why does this only six is the linear equation why it is because the power of the variable is one so for this example x plus five equals to eight the variable here is x and the power of this x is one okay in the linear equation, we doesn't uh, we didn't write it as uh, we didn't write the power one here. Okay, when the power is one, we don't write anything. We simply write the letter. So it same goes for the rest of this equation. In this second equation, this letter, this variable y, the power is one. This second, uh, this third equation, p and q, the power is one. This fourth equation, x and y, the power is one. This one and is to the power of 1 and the last one here h and k the power is 1 so it becomes a linear equation because the power of the variable is 1 next what does it mean by linear equation in one variable okay so based on the previous list these are the only linear equations in one variable why because it only has one type of letter okay as uh, you have uh, learned before in chapter 5, variable is actually a quantity with unknown value and it is represented by a letter. One variable, one letter. So, for, this, for you to be able to identify linear equation in one variable, you must make sure you have only one type of letter in the equation. So, first one, x plus 5 equals to 8. The only variable there is x. Second equation, y over 2 minus 10 equals to 1. The only variable here is y. But for the third one, 3n plus 1 equals to 6n. Even though you have n at the left-hand side, 
and n at the right hand side both variable here is actually of the same type which is n so, uh, still this is considered as one variable so in conclusion linear equation in one variable it must has only one variable and that power of variable is only one okay one variable and the power of the variable is one so that is your linear equation in one variable. Now, for you to end thing, look at this few examples. Which of the following below are linear equations in one variable? Linear equations in one variable. So make sure uh, the given uh, statement is actually an equation. They must have the equal sign. Linear, the power of the variable is to the, uh, to the power of 1. And one variable means it only has one type of letter. So the first one, 2x plus 3 equals to 5. What is the variable? The variable is x. Only one variable. And the power of the variable is 1. So definitely this is linear equation in one variable. Next, 5t minus 3s equals to 4. Here, you can clearly see that there are two variables over here. And those variables is to the power of 1. So, this is actually linear equation, but it is in two variables. So, this is not the one that we are looking for. We are looking for linear equations in one variable. Okay, next, 4k minus 2 equals to 7k. It has only one variable, which is k, and the k is actually to the power of 1. So, this is actually linear equation in one variable. Next, 3 times m plus 2 equals to m over 2. This is also a linear equation in one variable. Why? Because it, ha it has only one variable, which is m, and the power is 1. Okay, now move on to the last three equations. We have 4k squared plus 3 equals to 7. Okay, notice that the power of that the variable k there is 2. So it is actually a non-linear. Next, xy plus 8x equals to 3. You have xy together. You join the xy, you join the two variables together. It is still a nonlinear. And the last one, 3y plus 2 over y equals 1. Okay, this is also a nonlinear. Why? Uh, this three uh, form is actually a nonlinear. It's already written in your textbook. Expressions such as xy, 1 over x, and x over y are nonlinear expressions. So you have to remember this formula. Okay, so this is uh, the end of your first learning standard. Now, let's look at the second learning standard. You have to form linear equations in one variable based on the statement or institution. Okay, again, you have to use your previous knowledge in chapter 5 when you are forming algebraic expression. What you have to do is you have to identify the keywords. Okay. So, let's say in your sentence, in the situation given, you have the word add, sum, total, more, longer. This shows you are supposed to do addition. Okay, but if you have minus, subtract, younger, less than, those are the keywords for subtraction. And if you have multiply, times, twice, thrice, double, this shows you have to do multiplication. Twice means you have to multiply 2. Thrice means you have to multiply by 3. And double means you have to multiply by 2. Okay. As for division, the keywords will be quotient, average, or divide. There might be some other keywords. So you have to identify the keywords. Okay. Once you have identified the keywords, you have to make sure that each term that you have is actually of the same unit. Okay. Kilogram with kilogram. Gram with gram, centimeter with centimeter, meter with meter, liter with liter. Okay, but even though the unit is the same, you don't have to actually write down the unit while forming the equation. In the equation, no unit is needed, but the unit must be the same. Okay, so when you have all that thing, the, your final answer should be simplified. So let's look at a few examples over here. There are five situations. Okay, so the first situation, subtract 8 from a number, its remainder is 2. 
So a number here is what we call as the variable. A number here is the, the unknown. So let uh it let it be x. Subtract at uh, subtract it from a number. So that number is x. You must minus with eight, and it is equal to two. So your final answer is x minus eight equals to two. For the second situation, the sum of a number and four times of the number, the result is 20. So, there are a few keywords over here. You have sum, you have times. Okay, sum, you know it is actually addition. Times, it is a multiplication. So, it is the sum of between a number and that number is x and four times of the number. Four times of the number means four times x. So, when you multiply four with x, you simply join them together into 4x. So, your final answer for this situation is x plus 4x equals to 20. Third situation. Honey got a 16 marks less than Surya in a mathematics test. Their total mark is 156. Okay. So, uh, total here means you have to add. Okay. Add. The mark between Honey and Surya. Let's say Surya's mark is X. So, since Honey got a 16 mark less than Surya, Honey's mark will be X minus 16. So, X minus 16 plus X equals to 156. You have to simplify this equation whereby you can see that X and X over here is a like term. They are like terms. So, you have to add up these two, x plus x to become 2x. And the rest of the numbers and operation in the equation, you write it down again. So, your final answer is 2x minus 16 equals to 156. Okay, next. Fourth situation. Fauzi bought 3 kilograms of mangosteens which cost Y ringgit Malaysia per kilogram. Okay, Y ringgit Malaysia per kilogram means 1 kilogram, the price is Y ringgit Malaysia. So, if Fauzi bought 3 kilograms, so you have to multiply 3 with Y. And the total amount that he paid, sorry, this is a mistake. The total amount that he paid was 21 ringgit. So, you have to multiply 3 times Y equals to 21. When you multiply a number with a letter, you just have to join them together to become 3Y. So, the final answer is 3y equals to 21. And the last situation, the area of a rectangle with length 2p cm and width 6 cm is 24 cm square. Okay, the keyword over here is actually area of a triangle. So, you know what is a triangle? This table here itself is actually a, tri uh, a rectangle. Did I mention triangle just now? Sorry. Area of a rectangle is the keyword. Okay, you know rectangle is, uh, example of rectangle is this table. Okay, it has length, it also has width. The length is 2p and the width is 6. So, when you find the area of the rectangle, you just have to multiply length with the width. So, 2p times 6 equals to 24. So, 2p times 6 will be 12p equals to 24. This is your final answer. So, hopefully, you are able... Uh, to get the two learning standard in this video. You, do, you are able to identify what is linear equation in one variable and you also know how to form linear equation based on the given situation. We are going to continue uh, the next learning standard in the next video.